Getting started is often the most difficult thing for any kind of project and in terms of A-levels this is going to be the most challenging time. Now the reason for that is that first of all everything is going to be different. You might well be in a different school, you're going to be in a different class and also critically is the work is going to be a lot more challenging compared to GCSE and it's going to be the same for everybody but you don't need to worry about it. Now, if you look at year 13 students going to their final exams, they are so much more confident and mature than they were at the beginning of year 12. And at some point, you will be in that position as well. But it's going to be the first couple of weeks or the first couple of months which are going to be the hardest. And that's because you're going to be in a different kind of class. You might even be in a different school, but that could be better in many ways. Instead of having maybe 32 people in your science lesson, you might have 12 people in your physics class and you'll have a couple of different physics teachers who are going to be teaching you that material. The other thing that's going to be different is that there's going to be a bigger expectation for you to work independently outside of the subject. That could be reading textbooks or reading books around the subject. It could be watching videos to make your own notes to reinforce the work you've done in class. And if you're doing A-level physics, which is what I make videos about, in actual fact, I'm in my brand new studio. Uh, you can see it's different. Um, it's much bigger than it has been previously. And there's going to be a lot of stuff I'm doing over the next couple of years. But if you're doing A-level physics, there's going to be much more of a need to practice as many questions as possible throughout the whole course, not just at the last minute as you're re revising for exams. Now, of course, I've got some material to help there. I do have these workbooks that you can work through day by day. And also, I have videos with an introduction to A-level physics that you can find on my website, which is alevelphysicsonline.com. Now, on that introduction page, I go through all the topics you're going to be covering. I look at how these are related to the stuff you've already done at GCSE and the new kind of material that might be introduced. You can always go there and, and have a look at those. And of course, I have this introduction to A-level guide that you can download. It's completely free. And this has some questions that you might ask your teacher over the next couple of weeks, as well as lots of advice from other students who've been there and done that recently. Now, if you read that for five minutes, hopefully that should put your mind at ease and actually allow you to realize that you can do the A-level subject, even if it initially appears quite difficult, after a while, it's soon going to become the new normal and you're just going to get into the new ways of working. So I really hope that everything works out over the next couple of weeks. If it is challenging, don't be worried by that because it's going to be the same for you and everybody else on that course, even if they're not showing it. And very soon, you'll just get used to the new habits, the new way of working, and then you're going to be thriving as you're going through your A-level choices. Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye.